Hey there folks, Andrew at Chatfield. Today I'm super excited to be sharing with you some updates that are coming soon to the Messenger platform effective August 15th, 2019. So a lot of these changes I'm not too concerned about. 99% of them I'm not worried about and you shouldn't be either. I know of course when anybody says change you go into a little bit of a panic but Fear not, these really aren't catastrophic changes, and even if you do use some of the plugins that are being deprecated that I'll be talking about here in a moment, there are many workarounds so that your bot can still function as expected. Also, I should preface this conversation by saying that all these changes are happening because the Messenger team is working on a project called Lightspeed to slim down the size and improve the speed of the Messenger app because Messenger Lite, which is this Messenger variation of the app available to people in developing countries, that will soon be deprecated, which is good news, will have greater functionality and improved speed for all people on the Messenger platform, which is good news for all of your bot subscribers. So that being said, let's dive into these changes again, effective August 15th, 2019. And so let's get started here. The first one that's being deprecated, the first plugin, the first feature is the location quick reply. So in case you don't know what that is, essentially it's a button, a quick reply in Messenger that allows users of your bot to simply click on that button and then using GPS location data, share their current location, their state, address, country, zip code, all of that good information. Now, I'm not really too worried about this being deprecated because for a couple reasons. Firstly, you can, instead of using this plugin, just use the user input plugin, ask the user for that information. And secondly, which is just as important, is that this has always been a privacy concern based on my use of this in bots and seeing how subscribers interact, right? So because people going through the bot might see, hey, share location, and then you can see their GPS location, the concern based on, again, my experience and what I've seen is that users will then drop off from the bot experience. If this is part of like a lead gen form or part of a order for an e-commerce brand, they will drop off. They would rather enter in just the text rather than sharing their real time location because again, there are privacy concerns associated with that. So if you use this plugin right now, just replace it with a user input plugin, really not a huge deal. It is a little bit more cumbersome, but not the end of the world. Next on the list here is the share button. So this is a little bit frustrating. I know that some of our top customers, our top clients for ChatFuel are using this button to generate virality. According to Facebook, they're saying that, hey, instead of using this functionality, which again has the intent of slimming down the app, instead of using the share button, you can direct your users to hold down on the message and then forward that to their friends in Messenger. But realistically, I mean, I don't think that's going to help much. The instructions to tell users how to do that are too complicated, in my opinion, even though it's fairly simple, you know, the less tech savvy subscribers aren't going to fully understand that it's not as intuitive as a share button. So this is disappointing to see because the forward functionality just isn't the same. But at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. There are still other ways that you can share content, such as using something like a ref link, although it's not as simplistic and intuitive as the share button. So scrolling down to some other changes here, I'm going to skip over these SDK pieces because they're not really relevant when you're using a builder like ChatFuel. But next is Messenger Code. So this isn't really new information that's being shared here. This was announced previously. But now the way that Messenger works is if you want to generate a QR code, which is kind of like a Messenger code, then no longer can you do this. Unfortunately, instead of using the Messenger app to scan a Messenger code, Facebook is just advising you to generate a ordinary QR code, which I think is not a big deal. It's a great move in my opinion because QR codes, unlike messenger codes, are actually much more seamless and easy to understand because now with the advent of QR codes being able to be scanned just with your phone camera, that's a much better way to drive people and drive traffic to your bot. So 
This, again, not new information, but it is another thing that is going away due to this whole light speed campaign for the Messenger app. Keep an eye out for that, but again, you can just use a ref link, create a QR code for that, or a QR code to just the m.me link of your bot and drive traffic there instead of using these kind of complicated Messenger codes. And a couple more things to mention here, the vertical list template, this is going away. If you're not familiar with what this is, essentially it's a gallery card, but instead of being a horizontal gallery card, it's a vertical one. And I believe you can have up to four or five options. Unlike with a gallery, you can have up to 10. So this is a minor change. The good news is if you're already using this vertical list template, it's not going to break the user experience. If you don't change that, Facebook will automatically convert that for you into a gallery card, which is great news. Again, it's not gonna break the user experience if you don't make any changes before August 15th, but that is changing. And so it's just something to be aware of, right? If you're in the process of building a bot right now, might as well just build the gallery card instead of using this list template. And finally, the nested menu, as Facebook calls it, or as we call it at Chatfuel, the persistent menu. So good news is the persistent menu as a whole is not going away. The only change here is that the sub menus are going away, which I think is perfectly fine because I believe you could have up to like two or three sub menus in the persistent menu for each of those elements on the top level. And I think, you know, some of that could get really confusing. I think, you know, having the secondary level menu is reasonable, but you could go really deep into all these like crazy menus. And I think that was excessive. So this isn't again, a huge change. It's not groundbreaking. You don't have to worry about it too much, but just be aware that starting August 15th, those sub menus and sub sub menus will be going away. So just something to be cognizant of. And finally, as you can see at the very bottom, this isn't so much a feature as just information, but messenger bot reviews are also going away. So this is kind of good news if you've had a bot before that was spamming people and people were leaving all these negative reviews because now this feature, this functionality, this review setting is going away. So that's obviously not a free pass to start spamming people, but it will give you kind of a clean slate to start with. So those are all the upcoming updates for the Messenger platform. Again, effective August 15th, 2019. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And also let me know down in the comments what feature you will miss most. Or if you're not even concerned about any of this, that is even better news. And let me know below. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care and happy botting.